Okay, I'm back. <laughs> channel i am diamond if you're new don't forget to like comment and subscribe that way you can get a notification every time i upload a video you guys i am back and i am excited i have a spooky haul i told you guys last time i was on on camera that i had a spooky haul coming and i'm a woman of her word yes ma'am i do have a spooky haul and it's a collective haul it's different places i've been going throughout the last few weeks um i've just been going to different stores here and there and i'm very excited i'm so excited for spooky season you guys i've just been watching all the videos i've been watching like spooky movies and spooky series on netflix and just just into all the spooky vibes so i'm so excited you guys so um this video might be a little long because i have quite a few things so grab your drink grab your coffee grab your wine grab your tea whatever it is that you drink because it's gonna be a little while i'm good i am gonna try to make it quick because i don't want my battery to die on my camera <laughs> so i do have my starbucks drinks and well my drink and this has been my favorite this is the caramel ribbon crunch frappuccino this has been my favorite i've been like on these all the time now so I'm obsessed with these so if you guys go to Starbucks you want to try it go ahead and give it a try and pepper move out of the way and I did set my camera up a little different pepper is on the table um, I'm gonna go ahead and get started like I said grab your drinks I got my frappuccino and we're gonna get started um, my husband was telling me that my face was like too close into the camera, which I agree. I was like, dang, I was watching my videos and I'm like, why is my face so close? Like I had to zoom on or something. I didn't have the zoom. I just had it like sitting right here in front of me on the table. And my husband gave me this idea. He was like, just sit it on a, like a little folding table that we have. Um, just sit it on that table and that way it won't be so close to your face. So I said, that's a good idea. See, I love my husband. He always, you know, he's always trying to help me, you know, do better and get and, and try to get things right. Um, if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be doing YouTube. So I'm going to just give a shout out to him. Say thank you. So I do have some items for inside and outside. I have been venturing out and buying stuff for outside of my home, like on my front lawn. Um, I do want to start getting maybe some inflatables, maybe a couple inflatables or two. I don't have any of those. I like to put one or two out on my balcony. And I just got like a couple signs or something. So the first sign that I have is this cat. This is from At Home. This is a black cat with a pumpkin. I thought this was really adorable. This sign was $16.99, a little bit pricey, but I loved it so much I went ahead and grabbed it anyway. And it's a stake on the bottom. You just stake it into the ground. Um, I believe, I'm not sure if it glows in the dark. I need to see, I know some of them glow in the dark. Um, this one doesn't say it glows in the dark. But I'm sure it will look nice at night with the orange pumpkin and the orange lights. Another at-home purchase is this three-foot black cat. This is an inflatable. Um, I did want to get, like I said, I've been wanting to get inflatables. I don't have any. This one's on the smaller side. Um, I just wanna, wanted to go ahead and get this one. It was smaller. It wasn't too expensive. So I thought it would be perfect. And this is from at-home also um this was $12.99 there's the price we're from at home too these all these do glow in the dark and these are just little eyes that you stick into the ground if you have a garden you can stick these in your garden they're little stakes like lawn stakes and they do um glow in the dark and these were $1.99 there's the price and i got two of these i do have a new garden um that I'm trying to maintain. So I did get some. Sorry, you guys. I'm probably going to be fussing at Pepper because she wants to be in my way. 
This is my purchase from Cracker Barrel. This is a t-shirt and it has Snoopy and peanuts and a pumpkin. It's a tie-dye long sleeve Halloween t-shirt. I thought this was so cute, so adorable. I love, you guys know I love my graphic tees if they're long sleeve or short sleeve. So I had to grab one of these. And like I said, this is from Cracker Barrel. This shirt was $24.99. And I think it's super cute. So I did grab, so excuse me if my stuff is not like categorized by stores. The Ashland, this was actually from Michaels. And this is a wreath hanger. And it has the, the skeleton hand on it. Um, I went to Michaels uh, maybe a week or two ago. I was looking for the Headless Horseman. The, of course they were sold out, but I did grab one of these. All of their reef supplies were 40% off. So I got this extremely affordable. I think it was only like $6. It's normally $9.99. So yeah, I probably got it for four bucks or something like that. But I thought it was super cute. I do want to get me a, well, I do want to make me a Halloween wreath this year. I've never had a Halloween wreath and I've never had a Halloween tree. So I was trying to go for that this year. I was like, I told my husband, I was like, I want a tree. Like I've been wanting a tree and I never bought one. So I decided I'm gonna give me a tree this year and I wanna make me a wreath. I thought about buying one, but I said, you know what? It'll be fun to make one. So I'm gonna go ahead and try that. It's home goods. And this is just a tabletop decor and it's the books the stack of books and it has the frog and the witch hat i thought that was super cute the frog with his top hat on so adorable and then there's the stack of books there it says spells and potions i thought this was really cute i could not pass it up and this was 16.99 this is not home goods this is hobby lobby you see i my stuff's everywhere my stuff's all spread out this is a hobby lobby purchase and this is a fall this is actually a fall um item and it says let's get cozy i really love this mug i love the terracotta color on it and then it has like the plaiting in the inside and it says let's get cozy i thought that was so cute and can't wait to use this for my pumpkin spice coffees. Yay. I got this from Michaels. Michaels had a 90% off spring, all their spring stuff. And that was including like their bath and body items. And I did grab a few of these bath bombs. This is the chamomile bath bomb. Um, I grabbed a couple more and I put them in my bathroom. It looks like this little guy got left behind. So I'm going to go ahead and put this up too in the bathroom. But I did buy a few of these. These were really affordable. I think they were two bucks each. I didn't even know Hobby Lobby sold bath bombs. <laughs> like I had no idea. And my camera is shaking because my cat keeps jumping on my table. Sorry, you guys. It says TJ Maxx, but I got this bag from Home Goods. All this stuff inside is Home Goods. I'm over here like posing trying to make a <laughs> trying to make a thumbnail um okay let me take a drink mm. next item this is home goods this is a bag of home goods items i went in home goods looking for spooky trees and ornaments um if you guys haven't seen i did do a shop with me for spooky season um, go back and watch my previous video and if there's a shop with me where I went to all these different stores You know looking for the spooky items on my wish list. So make sure you check that out. Okay Item that I thought was the most adorable thing in the world like I had never seen anything more adorable This is the Frankenstein pumpkin Look how freaking cute he is. Oh my God, those eyes. Like, how can you resist those eyes? Like, this little guy did not survive on the shelf for no longer than five minutes. Like, the lady put out like two or three of them. And when I tell you I circled around and came back, they were gone. So I was lucky to be able to grab one because they went so fast. This little Frankenstein is so cute. He has his stitches. And I saw this on the website too. 
I saw this little guy on the website. I don't know which website it was. I don't know if it was Home Goods, Marshalls, or TJ Maxx, but it was one of those. And he was available on the website. And I was like, oh my God, he's available on the website too. And he was $12.99. I had to grab him, you guys. And he has like a, a heavy bottom. He has like beads on the bottom that creates this weight where he won't move or anything once he you sit him down he's gonna be he's gonna stay there he has like a weighted bottom which is really cool because he won't roll around or he won't fall or anything he has a solid base that'll keep him in place so next purchase is this these witch towels they say frequent flyers if you guys watched my shop with me I'm sure you guys got a sneak peek of what of some of the things that I that I grabbed that I added to cart. So this was one of them. Um, and these are Cupcake and Cashmere brand. And it's a set of three tiles. And they're kitchen tiles. And you can hang them in your kitchen. Um, it comes with two of the frequent flyer tiles. And then we have a black, almost waffle-like tile in the middle. And then my next item, these are hand towels for the bathroom. You guys, how stinking cute. Like what? There was no way I could pass these by. For one, they have the black cats on them that I'm obsessed with. And for two, they're pink. There's just something about the pink and the black that just, just, just goes together so well and i had to grab some of these you guys and i'm not a pink i'm not a pink -a wing girl you know the pink you know the all pink halloween um there i have nothing against it i'm just more traditional but the pink is starting to grow on me i see all the pink stuff in the stores and i'm like oh my god these are so cute like the pink ghost and the pink towels and the pink blankets and Everything is just so cute and I'm here for it. Like I love, I've never ventured out like outside of traditional Halloween and like went with the pink, but this year I could not pass it up. I was like, this is so cute. And now I want a pink blanket. I want a pink Halloween blanket. <laughs> so hopefully one day um, I'll get lucky and find a pink Halloween blanket I can add to my collection because I'm here for the pink. I love it. It's so cute. And here's a closer look. And these are hand towels. It's a set of two hand towels. And they're nice and thick, you guys. Like, the quality is just like 10 out of 10. My next item was a salt and shaker. Salt and pepper shaker. <laughs> Slow down, Diamond. A salt and pepper shaker. And... Um, the black cats has really attracted me. They're so cute. They're kind of like vintage almost. Um, I noticed that there's a brand in um, in Home Goods that's so similar to the Sarah, uh, the Parker, the, the Jessica Parker um, brand. You know that really um, popular brand where she does like vintage um, wear, like homeware, uh, bakeware all that good stuff um i don't know if i said her name right <laughs> i keep thinking of the actress uh sarah just jessica sarah jessica parker not her i'm talking about the um the designer that makes this halloween stuff the vintage but anyway there's another designer i thought that this was her but this is a different designer this is by shelly komiski so this is a different designer that does also like the vintage style Halloween items, which is super cute. And I couldn't resist it. These are like, um, they're almost like vampire cats. If you look at them, they have fangs and then they have their little pumpkins down here. And I thought these were so cute. I can't wait to fill them up with salt and pepper and actually use them. And then my next item is these napkins. Um, I usually get these napkins and I use them as like cocktail napkins. So when I'm making my drinks, like when I have a day off and I make my cocktails at night uh, and I just want like, I want to have a nightcap. Um, 
I, I love grabbing these little cocktail napkins um, for my drinks. So I saw these and I thought these were really adorable. They're cupcake pumpkin napkins and they and they have their he ha, she has her bow up here really cute you guys i had to grab some of these they say paper lunch napkins and there's 32 and they're 3.99 and it looks like that's the designer on the back um and the designer says ever since i was a little girl i love to paint now i paint for you and others around the world wow so she painted this. She painted this design and, and made these napkins. How cute is that? That's so adorable. Um, last purchases of those of that bag is my Halloween trees. <laughs> They're stuck together. But here are my Halloween trees. Um, these are similar to what I was looking for they're cute spooky trees they always they already have ornaments on them they have these cute bat ornaments all over um, I just have to spread it out and fluff it out when I get ready to use them um, the branches are made of wire so they are adjustable you can spread everything out and fluff it really nice and they do um, already come lighted so the lights let me turn the lights on for you so here are the lights they're a really beautiful orange color you guys that's what really attracted me to this tree because these orange lights just look perfect up against the black and you guys know I'm a glitter girl everything is sparkling there's glitter all over and I'm here for it so I did grab two of these that way I can put one on each side of my mantle and I can't wait to set these up and put them on my mantle. I'm going to go ahead and put one back here. I haven't uh, fluffed it open yet. Maybe I'll put this one. This one's a little bit more fluff, fluffy. Um, I'm not sure. Maybe I'll leave this one down here. Um, I'm not sure. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But I'm going to go ahead and put this one. And it is battery operated, so you have to put batteries in it. Um, I'm not sure if it takes AAA or AA, but they do take batteries. And these trees are by Martha Stewart. And they were $16.99. I think that's a good price. That price, that's why I grabbed two of them. So, there's my spooky tree back there. Oh, so cute. Box over here, I'm gonna grab really. Ooh. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> you guys, look at my shirt. I'm so excited about spooky season. And I put this shirt on and I was like, Oh my God, like it's the cutest freaking shirt ever. It has like little skeleton hands right here. It's so cute. And you guys, I found this shirt on Amazon. This is the woman's um, fit and it's in an extra large. And I'm glad I got extra large because it fits just perfect. It has a little bit of room in it, a little wiggle room. But other than that, it fits perfect. When I wash it, if it decides to shrink a little bit, it'll still be fine because it's a little oversized. So. I'm so happy with it, it's so cute. I'm low key embarrassed on how excited I get with Halloween, like, I know there's people out there like, girl, it's only August. Girl, it's spooky season. <laughs> if you like it or not, it's spooky season. Like, spooky season is here. Yes, she is here. She has made an appearance and she is here to stay. Um. This is Cracker Barrel also. And I also got this guy here. Well, not this guy, but I also got this item. You guys, I went in Cracker Barrel looking for the ghost. And of course, there was none. Like. They bought those things, like, as soon as they hit the shelves, they bought them. Like, I was like, I wanted to cry. 
because for one, I drive a long way. Like I literally drive an hour and a half or something like that. Or maybe like an hour 15, something like that to this store. And no witches. But it's okay. Girl, this thing, I can't even look at this. It's wrapped so tight. Like <laughs> these companies really like I think they've really learned their lesson because I've seen I've received so much stuff that was like broken and I think they're getting to the point to where they're like, okay, we need to protect these items because we're losing money. Like, so I'm not mad at these companies that go the extra mile to wait, let me open this. That go the extra mile to protect, you know, their product and make sure it gets to their customers on time. I mean, un unscathed. <laughs> so look at this cauldron, you guys. This cauldron is so freaking cute. It's such good quality. Like, look at that. This is a candle, by the way. I don't know how they expect us to burn this candle. Look how cute it is. There's no freaking way I can put a flame to this. Like, why would they do that to us? This candle is adorable. And the quality in it is just impeccable. Like, I love it. So I had to get one of these. I actually ordered this online and it came to me just fine. They had it packed up really nice. So I love that. It has like the skull and the eyeballs in it. It's... Okay, here's my next bag. Um, so this purchase is from Michael's. This bat purchase, I had a $10 off coupon, so I decided to grab him. He is so stinking cute. Like, I cannot look at him. I'm obsessed. Like, I almost got the ghost, and when I saw him, I immediately put the ghost back. Immediate. <laughs> no question about it. I said, nope, I want the ghost. I want the bat. I put that ghost back so quick and got this bat because look at this. I'm obsessed with his little ears up here. There's no way you can pass that. And the quality of him is just 10 out of 10. And he cost, how much did he cost? He cost $29, you guys. He cost $29 and I got $10 off. So that was a good deal. I got this from Michaels also. This is the little kitty in the bathtub. The kitties in the bathtub. I could not resist these. They are so cute. The little cats. And I like the pink interior of the bathtub. That's really cute. It gives your bathroom a nice little pop of color. I'm definitely going to put this in my bathroom. This would be so cute sitting on the sink. Or on a shelf if you have a shelf in your bathroom. So adorable. So I got one of these. And this one was $12.99 also from Michaels. <sighs> I gotta take a drink. This is actually Marshall's. So I went to Marshall's also on my shop with me. Don't forget to go watch my shop with me video. And the first item in here is this Spooky Treats hand soap. So I thought this was really cute. These hand soap dispensers. Um, I don't know how the soap is on the inside. Usually I pour it out and put in my Bath and Body Works soaps. Um, I'll give it a try and see how, how good it is. If I feel like it's not really a good soap, I'll just pour it out and put in my Bath and Body Works soap. Um, but I thought these were so cute. The black hat and then the ghost. And it came with us, it came as a set. And it says Spooky Treats Hand Soap Collection. And it says Candy Corn Spooky Marshmallow. So I'm believing that's the scents of the soaps candy corn and candy, candy corn and spooky marshmallow. And I thought this was so cute. Like I could not pass this up. I grabbed it 
because these will look so adorable sitting on your kitchen sink or on your bathroom sink. Like, how could you not? And then this is another one of my favorite pieces that I found also at Marshall's, you guys. And this is the cat vampire. This cat is so stinking adorable. He has his fangs and he has this cloak, his cloak on and he has like a bat on his, I believe that's what you call it, the cloak, I think. The, um, the thing that they wear on the outside. Um, but the bow tie, uh, this whole thing was just cute. And all the, like the gold and everything just all matches together. And there's no way I was going to pass this up. I had to grab this. So cute. And he was $9.99 from Marshall. So we're going to put him back here. Next item is these little hair clips. I found these at Marshall's also, and these are little bedazzled, bedazzled uh, skeleton hands. I love these things. I actually have some of these. I have, um, I just have the regular white ones that you can get from like Claire's. Um, Claire's has them. They have like glow in the dark ones also. But the fact that these have a dazzle on them and they're like rhinestoned and blinged out was just like a game changer for me. So. As soon as I saw these, I grabbed them from Marshalls and these were $5.99. So worth the price, $5.99 add to cart, please. <laughs> Another Marshalls purchase here. This is a bowl that I got. Um, this bowl is so cute. It has all these little happy ghosts on them. They have happy faces. Like how could you not be attracted to the happy faces and they have boo on there and I thought this was just so cute and look at the inside you guys like I love this for mornings when I'm uh, when I get up and I'm off work and I just want to have a bowl of cereal I can use this bowl and it's a perfect size for cereal I'm obsessed and this bowl was $4.99 very good quality bowl and it says spectrum designs on the bottom very good quality I love this because I don't think I have any spooky bowls I have only spooky mugs and stuff that's my first spooky bowl there this is the mug that I found this is also like a vintage almost a vintage des design this one's also by spectrum so these both are by the same company and there's no way I could pass this up look at this <laughs> that cat <laughs> like what i had to grab this so fast and these are at marshall's you guys there was a couple more of these and i'm sure they're not going to last on the shelf very long because look how adorable these are the cat is like hunched up like my cat does this and it's just the most adorable thing ever like when she wakes up she'll stand up and stretch out like this and she'll hunch her back and I just think it's so cute. And this is the handle here. And like I said, it has like this vintage design almost. I'm obsessed, you guys. I can't wait to have my coffee in this. And the handle is so big, I can literally fit all four of my fingers. That's what I love about, cup, about my uh, cups like this. Like I saw a bunch of cute cups, but the handles were really tiny. You could only fit like two fingers in there. And I don't like that. I like to be able to hold my cup firmly and comfortably. And this one is perfect. This one's perfect. Look at that room. I can fit all my fingers in there. And I love it. So to all you cup designers out there, make sure you make your handles big enough. <laughs> so we can fit our fingers in there. Okay. Even this one, this fall one, the handle is smaller, but I can still fit three fingers in here. So it's big enough for me to fit my fingers in there. But there was some other ones that I saw, like the, the handles were so tiny, like I could only fit like two fingers. And I'm like, why? <laughs> Unless they're like cups for babies or something or for kids. Girl, I don't know. I'm going to just take a sip crazy look at this 
Look how big it is. <laughs> if you guys don't know, Target has dropped their hide and eek um, Halloween stuff already. And um, I did go online to see what they had available. Um, I only purchased a couple things. Um, I don't, like I said, I got way too much Halloween stuff. So, I mean, I've already over purchased a bunch of stuff. <laughs> so, um, I only, with Target, I didn't go nuts. Like, I only bought like two, two items, literally. And my first item is this LED grape, grape, LED drape garland. This is a garland. And I'm going to use this for my mantle. Um, I like the way it looked online. It might be a little hard to see, but it's kind of branchy. It's like a branchy garland. I think it'll go uh, really nice with my uh, branchy trees, my spooky trees. And it lights up purple. So um, I do have a few garlands already from Target. They always have these awesome garlands during uh, Halloween. I think I bought a couple last year and I just went ahead and bought one more. Um, and this one is six feet in length. And this is my other purchase here. And this is my good old black cat <laughs> and pumpkin. This is a lighted sign so this sign lights up it's 36 inches in height 36 and a half inches it's for indoor or outdoor and it just says led black cat sign i saw this sign and i was like oh my god this will be so cute like i don't know if i'm gonna put it in my front yard you guys because i sometimes i'm scared people are gonna steal my stuff because like you see you see like people still in Halloween decorations. It's crazy. It's, we work so hard for our, our money and we go out and buy decorations for Halloween just for somebody to steal them. So I don't know if I'm going to put this in my yard. I might just put it up on my, um, my patio because I have an overhead patio in front of my house and I like to decorate, put all my decorations up there. If I do put something downstairs, it won't be something really expensive. Um, because I don't want people walking up and taking my stuff. So I still don't know if I'm going to put this like down on my front lawn or not. <laughs> um, I'll figure it out, but I thought this was so cute. Look at it and it lights up and I can't wait to see this. I can't wait to put this up. Okay. That was my target purchase. And then my last bag is Michael's. And I know I've been like all over the place with my stuff. Like I said, nothing was organized. I kind of just threw everything into a pile. That's what I do. I go out and I'll shop and I'll just throw everything into my pile. That way I can show all my followers, you know, what I found on my spooky, you know, on my spooky trips. So Michael's had a sale for 40% off all the wreath supplies. So they had a ton of stuff. They had the wreaths and they had all the picks and everything you can use to make a wreath. So that's what I wanted to do. I said, you know what? That's such a cool idea. So I decided to get this spooky branch wreath here and it has a loop. It has a loop here um, where you can hang it. And like I said, this was 40% off. The original price was $29.99 and I got it for 40% off. It's really sparkly and glittery, which is right up my alley. You guys know, you guys know I love this. So um, I did grab this one and this is, this is pretty much made of wire. So you can like move it around and adjust it to your liking. So this is my base for my wreath the picks that I got so like I said all these picks were 40% off so I got this pretty purple one look at the sparkle on that like that is so beautiful I got one of these I actually got two of these I think I grabbed like two of each of everything everything I grabbed two of each 
And I'm going to just put these on my, my reef. I also grabbed one of the little spooky house picks. Um, so the, the theme for my wreath is witch, which, you know, I wanted to make it like a witchy theme, but I also got like the black cat, um, picks like this one because you can't have a, a witch without a black cat. Right? So I got this one. Let me see. Okay. These are so pretty. Look at that. You guys so beautiful. And I also, let me see. So I did get two of those. Here's the other one. I got two of those. And then I did get the little ghost because I could not resist the ghost. They're so adorable, so cute. And I think they will stand out really well on my black wreath. So I did get two of these. And then I also got these little eyeballs. These They're like roses and they have eyeballs in them. I thought these were really cute too. Really spooky. I don't know if I'm going to use them. Um, I'm just going to play around with my wreath and just see how it turns out. I ended up getting three of those. So I got three of these eyeballs. Oh, I do have another cat. So I end up getting three cats. Um, and then I got some of the bigger branches, like the inserts you can put. So this one has just a bunch of bats on it. And this one's on the bigger side, but you can clip these down. Just get you some wire cutters and clip them down and clip, you know, just clip them to fit your wreath. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Or I can use this. Um, I can insert it on my Halloween, um, like my floral arrangements. When I do my, my Halloween floral arrangements, I can also use these for that too. So either one, I can use it for my floral arrangements or I can use it as inserts on my wreaths. And then I also grab these like little branchy, um, things for my wreaths. I thought these would be really cute up against the black. These are purple, real sparkly, glittery, you know. That's my name, Diamond. I love the sparkle, glittery look. And then I also got the green ones. So these are the green ones, you guys. I hope you guys, I hope I'm not putting it <laughs> too close to the camera. <laughs> I'm just putting them all in the camera and the prices on these you guys are really affordable. These are $1.99 right here. That's why I grabbed so many. These were $1.99 with 40% off. So I must have grabbed about six or these six or seven of these. And then this was the hat. So um my vision is to have like a witchy theme wreath. So I got the hat to go ahead and put like on top or in the middle. I don't know. I'm going to play around with it. Like I said, I will definitely show you guys once I get done how it looks. I'll put it on my Instagram stories. <laughs> I put everything on my Instagram stories. Um, I'm sure when I do like my Halloween walkthrough, like my home, um, my home decor, you guys will see it. I'll show you. I'll show it then too. But Instagram always sees it first. You guys know I'm always posting on Instagram. But I did get this really cute hat. It's a witch hat. So I'm going to put this like on top. And then I grabbed these little witch boots. And I can put these on the bottom. So if you've seen the witchy like reefs, you know there's like a, a hat on top, like a witch hat on top. And then you get the boots on bottom. So I had to grab these little boots. They're so cute. They have little buckles on them. Adorable. Um, they had these in black and white also. I thought the orange and green would be more appropriate. So I grabbed that. Here's another cat. I don't know how many of these cats I grabbed. <laughs> and then I also got this. Um, this can also, also be inserted as a floral arrangement when you do your Halloween floral arrangements. 
I believe I might have grabbed some of these last year. I might have some of these still from last year too. But I just went ahead and grabbed another one of these. I can also cut it down if I want and use them as filler on my reef. So I might do that. But this is definitely another one, um, another purchase. And I noticed that this one, I might take this one back because this one's missing the spider. See, this one has a spider on it. The other ones are missing the spiders. So I might take this one back and exchange it. So I didn't notice that when I bought it because this one was $9.99. So this one was more expensive. So I definitely need to take that back and have them exchange it. And then last but not least, this is the wire that you use to make your reef. Um, they also had this available. Um, it's $5.99. Well, it was $5.99. 40% off, really thick um, spool of wire. And this is what you can use to add your picks on. You wrap the wire around to secure your picks and really easy when you're making your own reefs. I'm not gonna say I'm done spooky shopping because you never know what you're gonna see out there. Like you might go into the store and you're like, there's no way I'm walking out the store without this item. So, <laughs> um, I may be back with another spooky haul. Um, I have a lot of stuff. I don't want to, I don't want to do too much. I've already done too much. <laughs> um, I am going to buy some ornaments for my trees because I want the little tiny ornaments. I saw them in home goods, you guys, and I walked past them because I didn't have a tree and I didn't even think about getting a tree. I was like, okay, ornaments. So after I found my tree or after I realized, okay, I want a tree and I want to get some little Halloween ornaments. I went back to home goods. They were gone. All of them. The lady, the, the employee was like, oh yeah, those went really quick. She was like, we had a ton of them and they went so fast. So now I haven't seen any. So I'm going to keep looking I'm always on the website checking to see if I see them. I do see the resellers uh, selling them. I don't want to go that route. Um, I'm sure I'll find some. I, I have all the way till October. <laughs> so I'm sure I'll find some. You never know. I might have some already in my Halloween decoration stuff. I doubt it because I've never had a tree. But um, I am on the lookout for some ornaments. Um, I am looking to get another pink, well, not another, but a blankie, um, a home goods blankie, but I want a pink one. I saw a really cute um, pink one with black cats on it that I want. Uh, Sharla, her name's Sharla's, uh, her, let me see, her Instagram is Sharla's Beauty Room. I love her. She's, she's such a, she's a girly girl, just really sweet girl. Um, she loves pink everything. Like she's a pink girly girl. Just everything pinked out. Her whole her room is just totally decked out pink. And it's so freaking adorable. I love her. Um, she showed a pink blanket and it had like little black cats on it. And I was obsessed. I fell in love. And I was like, I want that blanket so bad, but I know I don't know if I'm gonna find it. Um, I'm gonna look for it though. And then I'm also on the hunt for the Headless Horseman. If I don't get the Headless Horseman, um, it is what it is. Um, I would like the Witch also from Cracker Barrel. Um, I know that's probably pretty much impossible to get, but I'm never going to give up. Um, I'm going to keep trying. And uh, that's pretty much it. I think that's all that's left on my wish list. So um, I am going to get an inflatable from... from uh, Home Depot. When Home Depot brings out their Halloween stuff, I always fall uh, face first. <laughs> I always fall uh, fall in love with all their, you know, their Halloween stuff. Like me, I, like my husband and myself, we go in Home Depot and I just like melt because all of their Halloween stuff is just so cool and I just get super excited. So I do want to get an inflatable from them when they do. I saw the inflatable I wanted online. I might order it online or I might wait and see if I can see it in stores. 
um, we'll see. But um, other than that, I think I'm doing really good. Um, I have some pretty cool items and I'm grateful. So um, when I do, or if I do have another haul, you guys know I will be back. I will be back. So be on the lookout and you guys happy spooky season. And I will see you all later. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment on my channel. And watch my other videos, you guys. Um, your subscribing um, helps my channel out a lot. Um, I'm trying to grow my channel. Um, that way I can, you know, someday get monetized. So um, just thank you all for your support. I really appreciate your support and your comments and your kind words. Um, I'm so happy that you know, I decided to do YouTube because without YouTube, like, like YouTube just really just pulls me out of that, that depression state. Like I get so happy when I'm ready to do another video. So you guys, thank you again. And I will see you on the next one. Okay. Bye.